When I was a young child, in the mid to late 90s, I used to have what I believed at the time to be very vivid nightmares. I would be laying in my own bed, completely unable to move any part of my body except for my eyes or make any kind of sound, and the room would become strangely lit and what I can only describe as fog from dry ice seemed to cover the floor. At that time, I would hear a strange noise, similar to a baby cooing or stirring, but not quite. If you play Minecraft, the noises that the gas make when they're just moving around is a dead ringer. And then, these two human-like entities would walk into my room. They would be wearing gray clothing. They look like sweatsuits, and their faces as I remember, were similar to hockey masks, but the entire eye holes were black, like Shy Guy from Mario. There was a height difference between the two, similar to that which one would expect between a man and wife, yet there were no defining features of either that could be indicative of gender. Upon entering my bedroom, they would, very slowly yet steadily, uh, approach me tilting their heads to one side. They would just draw closer and closer until they reached the edge of my bed, and then they would just slowly bend over until their faces were inches from mine. I experienced this at least a dozen times, and each time was the same, but I have no memory of what happened after. Around this same time period, I would experience nightmares where I was alone outside in the middle of the night, sitting in the grass or on a picnic table in our lawn, unable to move or make any noise. And I remember waking up from these episodes and sometimes being in my bed and other times being outside and having to make my way back inside with absolutely no memory of how I'd gotten there in the first place. Me and a friend used to look after a friend's kid when they went out years ago. One time, it was around 11.30ish when they got back. We just wanted to play some zombies and smoke, so we pretty much just bounced straight away. About 5 minutes from the house, there's a short alley on a hill that cuts between some trees and takes you to a path which leads to an allotment. I was in front as we walked through it and I noticed that something stood right in front of me. I'm 6'4", and this thing towered over me. It had a pale face and no features. There seemed to be dents where the features should have been, like the face had a layer of plastic over it. I mention it to my friend and say there's something here. As I said this, he gets pushed down the slight hill and his bike gets dragged into the trees. Now, according to him, he shouted and tried to get my attention for about 30 seconds. And keep in mind, it's around 11.35 p.m. Apparently, I just stood there staring at him and didn't respond the entire time. At some point, I noticed him shouting, so I walked down the hill and grabbed his bike on the way. As we started to walk back, I checked the time, and my phone said it was around 1am. The whole ordeal felt like it was only 3 or 4 minutes. Whatever happened, we missed an hour somehow. That was one of the weirdest experiences I've ever had. I randomly met some rich dude in a Vegas casino who brought my whole group up to his top floor penthouse suite that the Bellagio comped him after he won one of those spin the wheel games. Anyway, this dude was doing magic tricks to impress everyone when I started to think, yo, is this dude the devil? Immediately after the moment that I had that thought, this dude turns toward me mid-trick, stares me right in the eyes and says, 
This is such a good trick. You might think I'm the devil. I wrapped my party up right there and left. I even considered heading back home to California. This morning, I let my dog outside into my yard. We live right by the main street of our quiet small town, so the road is visible from the front porch. When I stepped outside onto the porch, I noticed a lone elderly woman with white hair and a baby blue coat walking down the road. She walked slowly like someone with arthritis or other mobility issues. I had never seen her before. I turned around to close the door behind me, a task that only took a second or two. When I looked back at the road, the woman was gone. I looked up and down the street, but I didn't see anyone at all. There wasn't enough time for someone to walk through a yard or into a house, let alone an elderly person who seemed like they couldn't move very quickly. I'm not sure what it was that I saw, whether it was a ghost or a glitch in reality or something else. Either way, it really weirded me out. This was a few years back, but I still remember it like it was yesterday. I was in the back of the car, and my whole family was with me. We parked the car outside a bakery so that my parents could go inside and get some bread. I was looking outside the window, up towards the sky, and I noticed some weird shapes that were right above the part of the city we were in. Now, I know clouds can take all sorts of forms, and that it's completely normal. However, there were two faces up in the sky. Like, they were made of clouds, but they were super detailed, down to the very last hair on their head. One of them looked like what I suppose Zeus is portrayed like in every movie ever. Like, beard, long hair, and bushy eyebrows. And the other one was this old woman. Her hair was in a bun, and her face was wrinkly. Like I said, the amount of detail on their faces was otherworldly. So far, you could say all of it was just clouds that formed randomly in the sky, and that's what I would have thought too. If their eyes weren't completely black, their eyes were just a deep black, and it seemed like they were both looking down toward the city, and kind of like they were looking down on humans. I looked at them for a few minutes in awe, and then turned to my left to tell my sister, but as soon as I looked back, they were gone. I remember I wasn't afraid of them, I was just curious as what they were. Has anyone ever experienced something similar? Or does anyone have an explanation? I've always wondered what they might be. I was at a yard sale held by a young woman with a small child. I was walking around looking at things and had a question about an item. I walked up to this guy dressed in a military uniform, looking like he had just got off work. I asked him about it, and he just looked at me and nodded, and I thanked him. I went to pay the lady, and I asked about the yard sale. She said that she was moving due to her husband being killed in Afghanistan. I asked her who was helping her at the yard sale, and she said it was just her, and I was the only person at the yard sale at the time. It breaks my heart, knowing that her husband was watching her and her child, having to sell everything and move from the house he built for her, because she could no longer afford it.